South African President Jacob Zuma has told Parliament in South Africa that deploying more soldiers to the Democratic Republic of Congo will cost the country about 800 million rands a year. Now, these soldiers will form part of a UN intervention force in the DRC, which will also include troops from Malawi and Tanzania. With the details on that particular exchange, here's CCTV's René Del Cam from Pretoria. As the South African National Defence Force prepares to deploy to Eastern DRC as part of a UN mission to stabilise the region, M23 rebels have started engaging in a war of words on Twitter. They've warned that more South African tears would flow as the bloody war was looming in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But the spokesperson for the South African National Defence Force, General Polani Mabanga, said the South Africans would not be intimidated by what he called the M23's psychological warfare. So should it be that we are to die in the execution of our duties, we are ready to do that. Therefore, any scares or any threats that may be posed towards us, it doesn't mean that we are not ready to face them. But South African defense analyst Helmut Heitman has warned the SANDF and the United Nations not to underestimate the rebels. I suspect we've underestimated them. The trouble is South Africa has not yet developed, shall we say, the moral courage to, courage to go to the United Nations and say, listen, you tell us what the mission is, we will decide what forces we will deploy and deploy the appropriate force. What we are doing by and large is deploying what the UN asks for. And most UN peacekeeping operations are nothing more than a fig leaf. It's pretending to do something. South Africa has had troops on the ground as part of United Nations mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo since 1998. It already has over a battalion of soldiers there. But it's still not saying how many South African troops will join the newly established United Nations Intervention Force in the DRC this time round. The SANDF said unlike other peacekeeping missions South African troops had been sent on, this latest DRC deployment was expected to involve fighting on the ground. What's going to be different about this mission, it is the nature of the mission itself. It's not the ordinary or the normal Chapter 6 UN peacekeeping as the other mission has been. So this one is more heavy, if I may use those words, on combat. We are going to a combat zone. Within that context, I think the South African contingent will probably be the best performing one. It has been in most UN operations. So I think the South African unit will do well, although it too looks as if it's going to be underarmed, under-equipped. But the SANDF is adamant that it is ready to go to war in the DRC as it awaits instructions from its commander-in-chief, President Jacob Zuma, on whether or not it will soon redeploy to the conflict-ridden Central African Republic. We will do anything that we may be directed by the government to do. Even going back to Central African Republic, there's nothing that will stop us. Renato Kam, CCTV, Pretoria.